All right, I'm ready to go. I've got my instructions. I've got the uh, the dummy plug. That's what I'll call it. Um, it's got a different name. It is a 12-pin connector storage dock. And I've got the sensor. I've got the large zip ties, the small zip ties, the actual cable. And you really don't need too much to install this, but uh, I've got some alcohol. And I, I would only have the alcohol if I was going to apply this. I don't think I'm going to apply it right now. And i got some cutters for the zip ties. And then I've got my some of my own zip ties. And that is pretty much all you need. To start off, I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the truck. And this will be on the downside. Put it in, make sure it's nice and snug. And you will know whether it's in there properly or not when this uh, cap locks in and it's on there. You wanna make sure you leave some slack in the cable. This is a pretty long cable. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a zip tie on here just so it's not all over the place and I'm just going to put it right there I'll go ahead and put the storage dock on here you can pretty much put it anywhere um, I think what I'm do is put it right here for now this is just temporary and when I say I'm doing this temporarily it's because I don't know if I want to keep it where it's at yet I'm not I may decide to change it up so I'm putting this here so that when I take the connector off the truck, all I got to do is put it right in here. Don't want to put it too far over here because then you won't be able to get your cable plugged into it. Now here, I'm going to make sure that these arrows are pointed up. And I am going to put this right here. So I'm just running a single zip tie through the top. And I'm going to put this on here. Again, this is temporary, but even if you're putting it on temporary, you do want to make sure that it stays in place. If it's moving around, then it's not going to give the truck an accurate reading to uh, properly pro trailer backup assist. All right, and then the uh, last thing that needs to be done is this needs to be connected. The last thing that needs to be done is this connection needs to go on the sensor. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. So I've got the trailer plugged in here and then I've got the, the uh, cable for the Pro Trailer Backup Assist connected. You got the cable running over here. I've got the storage dock installed here. This cable here. And then I've got the sensor here. One zip tie on it and I've got it connected. And the last thing I'm going to do is put an additional zip tie here to make sure that this cable doesn't fall on the ground. There you go. That is everything connected. And of course this is the easiest part and the first thing you have to do and then you have to do the other stuff inside the truck. There is everything removed and trailer put away. Got the cable 
in here, locked in place. That's it.